Hey, this is YBR with Beam and G Drive, and today we're going to be taking a look at a map called Rally Map, which is actually a great name for a map because that is exactly what this map is. And the map starts the camera like in the trees and you can't see nothing. So we're going to roll the truck forward a little bit and then we're going to swap it out for a different vehicle. We're going to go with the VW Polo R WRC, which is the exact same vehicle you see in the thumbnail for the Rally Map. So what better vehicle to drive on Rally Map than the Rally Car in the Rally Map thumbnail? Can you tell I like saying the name of the map? Like some people be like, oh, that's a dumb name. It's not creative at all. Me, I love it because I know exactly what I'm getting into when I choose this map. And this is a uh, older modded vehicle. It's actually not perfectly supported by the newest version of the game, but you can get it working as you see right here. And well, we can drive. Now as you see right here, it's rainy. It's very slick driving through here with this thing and it's real easy to start to get sideways and spin out. So that's why I'm taking things a little slow and easy and even then I almost just fell off the road right there over here we have an alternative path which we can take a quick peek at it's just actually a driveway more than a path but yep there's my house and every time my commute is basically a rally race what a great life that would be you know, no traffic or nothing your commute is literally just rallying you'd have to have a really good car for that to be fun and not tiresome though and if you're just you know going through this with a regular economy car and you gotta slow down for all the bumps ain't no fun in that also, the fact that you will eventually wreck your car all the time, that would get very expensive very fast. So, maybe it'd be an awful commute. I can't decide. Either way, we've been driving for like a minute and a half almost now, and we still haven't crashed. What's up with that, huh? All right, let's go. We're going to just fling this thing a little bit. There we go. Got a little bit of a roll and very, very little damage in the end. I think I could keep driving this no problem. Get up on the road, and uh, how straight are we going to go? Straight enough where I... And keep control of the vehicle. All right. Let's fly again up here. Try to damage it up some more. Got a little bit more damage, but I think we can keep going. Like, it's funny. I'm trying to break it. It don't want to break. It's like, nah, I got this YBR. We are going to finish this race. So, all right, car. We're going to finish this race, except it is pulling hard to the left, which makes driving here really, really difficult because with the slipperiness and the pulling, it's hard to control it. So, you know what? Let's just dump it in the river. Oh, this car doesn't drown. I didn't realize that. Okay, let's get it out of the river. <laughs> it will not die. It wants to finish the race. You stick it in the river. It's like, I don't drown. I am unkillable. I have an invisible snorkel that goes forever. Let's finish this thing. All right, car. We're going to finish it. We are going to get a complete... Oh, no. Oh, oh, it's fine. The car started to pull too hard to the right, and I couldn't count and steer good enough. Uh, this, this is actually really rough to drive, to be completely honest. Like, I'm having to focus super duper hard. Oh, no. Oh, no. That wasn't on purpose. Every other crash, yeah, that was intentional. That one, not so much. And I think it's pulling a little bit more to the right because that's exactly what I needed. More pull to the right side, please. Thank you. We're going to finish, though. I mean, this car is going to make it. After all the work it's put in, it deserves to get to the finish. And up, oh, there goes another body panel. But there's the finish, so it doesn't matter. Complete! In into the trees. Can't see nothing. Can we drive out of that? Yep. That was actually really impressive that the vehicle made it the whole way. I thought for sure it was a goner many times. Now we'll get more of a normal vehicle. We'll swap it out for an Ibishu Pessima. And obviously, in this situation, the best version is the Rally version. And now I can do the course in reverse, and I guarantee you we're going to use multiple vehicles here. Because I am going to drive this thing even more recklessly than before. Like, I'm going to ask for trouble with this. I see a bump right there. We're going to fly off that bump and hit the trees and really break it up. Actually, we might be able to drive a little bit still. We got front wheel drive basically going for us, and that's it. Unfortunately, it's a little bit too rough of a terrain to really get going. We can just crawl along at this miserable rate of speed, but I don't want to do that. So let's reset this car and then try to get back up on the road, which I'm pretty sure we should be able to do with ease. Yep, that wasn't bad. And we're not going to crash at every corner. It's kind of like an art. You got to wait for the right time and the right place. That is when you crash. The time is not now. We got to wait for the right opportunity. And when I see it, I take it. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. There's a fence up there. That fence looks interesting. Let's hit the fence. I actually didn't do too much damage, but I did break the front left wheel axle, which means I can't really steer. So into the trees we go. Like I'm just letting the car go wherever it wants because now both of my front wheel axles are broken. 
And uh, yeah, that's not doing no good, so we'll just get a fresh car again and then spin this around because it's pointed in the wrong direction. That would be embarrassing, wouldn't it? I didn't notice and I just kept driving. I'm like, oh wow, look guys, we're already back where we uh, started at the start of the video when actually we weren't. That'd be embarrassing. Like going a little too fast into a corner like that and almost flying off the road. Also embarrassing. All right, now this is a good place to go. Over the river. Oh, what if we actually make it over that jump and land it? That would look awesome. I think we need a different car for that because this thing ain't gonna cut it. So we need something fast with a lot of ground clearance. I wanna use the hopper because I don't use it that often, but I don't think it'll be fast enough. So we're gonna go with my go-to vehicle for things like this, the D15 off-road version. And for the color, let's get flame orange because that is my favorite color for vehicles in this game. Especially when the environment's really green. Like I don't like flame orange on Utah because everything there is kind of orangish, but here, flame orange is great. So we gotta do another 180 and then we are off. So I'm gonna keep it nice and slow until I have my angle of attack and then I'm gonna floor it. So like right here, keep it slow and then angle of attack is like this. So we floor it, get it up to speed, come on, and then fly. Come on, make it, make it, make it. Yes, no. This could work. I just need one more attempt at it. And now with that experience, I know I don't actually need to spawn this far back. It could be a little bit closer. We could be about right here when we respawn probably and be fine. So we got to do is nice and slow and then angle of attack acquired. Go as fast as we can, as fast as we can. Hit the jump, get the dramatic camera angle. Yeah, a little bit of zoom out, making it look awesome. All right, now let's see where we actually fly into. Come on, through the trees, through the trees. Ha <laughs> ha. That was great. Now, do I want to crash this truck? Maybe I'll crash it a little bit. So let's see if we can crash it a little bit. We're going to just hop into this hole nice and gently and try to slide into a tree. Yeah, just a little crash. We should be able to pop out and keep going without too much issue. Oh, it's actually kind of damaged. Well, it can still drive though. So let's see. What's the next thing to crash? How about right here? Just smack into the hole and truck is dead, but it had an amazing jump. Let's get this thing back onto the road then and uh, finish it up with this. It, it earned it. Doing that jump, it got to earn something besides getting wrecked from that. So we're going to finish up the place doing this. And actually, I'm kind of curious. Can we go up those logs with this? That might be fun to try. I think we're a little too wide to do this, really. But let's see. It's going to be close. Oh, what? <laughs> I did not expect that. Truth be told, in testing... I never uh, drove off the road bad enough to hit the log, so in a way that's a good thing. I just did not expect that outcome, I didn't expect to just cruise right through them like they weren't even there. I feel like I want to do some off-roading though, I see some rocks, let's just try to crawl down those rocks real quickly. Because I'm so disappointed by that, like it's just it's not what I expected. Come on, over the rocks, this is what you earned! You probably don't like your reward, do you truck? You're like, why me? Up, oh, tipped over. I should have stuck to the logs, but now YBR's like, I can do it. No, YBR, you can't. Who are you trying to fool? You can't off-road. Get on that road. And they're like, okay, game, I'll do it. And whoops, I'll even go in a ditch accidentally just because I can. Can I get out of the ditch, though? That's the question. It took me a second. I was just stuck in it. Like, wait, wait, I'm going to get out eventually. Oh, with the mean drift right there, though. That was amazing. So here's the building again. Kind of curious. Do the uh, little pieces of twigs right here actually do anything? Yes, they do. Those will destroy the underside of your car. Okay. Let's get out of there. We'll test those logs as well, because why not? And nope, nope. We could drive right through them, but not the stumps. The stumps are solid objects. Got it. Don't exactly understand why, but that's the game logic for this map. I'm actually kind of sad that you can drive through those uh, big old stacks of uh, logs. That's the only change I would make to the map, is make it we crash into the logs and I'd be happy. And this truck is pulling and trying to tip at the same time. Like, ever since I hit the uh, twigs on the road, or the twigs on the ground, it's been pulling hard to the side and it's not the easiest to drive anymore. Even though it doesn't even look damaged, it's like surprising. And now we have to do some off-roading because I kind of got lost. Let's not go up there, we'll just tip over. Let's just try to get back to the road. There's a clear path to it, just have the patience to line it up. There we go. Back on the road, and I know we're so close to the start because we already passed up the house. Let's just get there in one piece. That's my new goal. Get to the house, or get to the start in one piece. Nice and slow, nice and easy. Uh, it's funny, nice and slow to me is still 40 miles per hour through here. 
But it's like slow enough where I feel like I have full control over the vehicle and that's it. As I almost tip over. That was getting ugly again. Oh, we're stuck in a tree. No, we're not. Yes, we are. Maybe. We're stuck in some trees. How's that? So that'll about do it for this map. I would give you guys an aerial view of the place, but there's so much fog you really can't see much even if we kind of fly around. I mean, we could kind of do it like a drone view where we're above the trees a little bit, but I don't know if that's significantly different than what you see on the road to do the whole thing. But you know what? Let's, let's do the drone view just a little bit as we fly through the air. I gotta have a little buzzing sound, right? Let me do my little drone noises with my mouth like as we fly along. Hey, somebody needs to make a drone for BMG Drive. That'd be cool. Anyways, though, I think uh, that's good enough to give you guys an idea of what it would look like from above. So, until next time, it's YBR. I'll see ya.